coach when you're ready okay. to talk uh, about the weekend, first week. Yeah, so just uh, thank everybody for being here. I thought we had a good, solid crowd. It really helped us give the guys energy and juice and, and uh, helped us get six points on the weekend. So uh, I thought Bentley was fast and um, made the game hard for us. And we found a way to certainly match their speed and had very timely scoring. Uh, I saw Coach Oliveto and his son in the stands tonight. So great to see uh, a guy that played here and a guy that coached here and a guy that's got a great heart for Niagara back. Uh, again, and then there's some adjustments that we want to make culturally in, in terms of, and I should say tactics, not culture, but we were better with uh, their goalie pulled, I thought, tonight than, than uh, obviously the night before. Offensively, we found a way to get enough, and defensively, we battled on loose pucks, and our piles were way better, and then special teams were a big part of the game, but both, both uh, zeros for everybody, so that, that matters, especially on the PK. Questions? How do you feel about the music band tonight? You know what, I love the band. I, w I wish they would play more. I wish we would have them there all the time. And if they're listening, come back, come back, come back. We'd love to have it. <laughs> <laughs> how, yeah. how do you feel about the aggressiveness of the Bentley PK unit? You know, I'll, I'll give that one over here to Carter. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously we knew from yesterday that they were going to be aggressive and we knew again coming today that they're going to be aggressive and obviously uh, you know coaches do a really good job at, at looking at video last night and, and seeing what we got to change or adjust and um, you know that was something that we knew coming into today that they were going to be aggressive and just you know knowing ahead of time what you're going to do with the puck before you get it is a big thing tonight. Chad, I just want to talk about your weekend, you know, the kind of, how you do with shots and you kept them, you know, from tying in. Yeah, I mean, obviously they're a really good team. They're the second place team, and I mean, a weekend you get six points out of that team, and coming down the stretch here, these points are huge. So I mean, obviously we made a lot of adjustments from last night. I think our third period, obviously, was we could improve on, and we did. So I thought, all in all, all that matters at the end of the weekend is we got those six points. And I'll ask this for everybody: uh, just what does this weekend mean for you guys heading into the final stretch of the season? Yeah, I can start. Um, yeah, I think this weekend is huge um, for us on and off the ice, to be honest with you. Just getting that first first sweep and uh, coming into the back stretch here, obviously, like Chad said, and, I mean, it is huge to get those points. But, um, you know, now we're done with Bentley and it's on to the next team. And, you know, we just got to keep going and, and looking forward to the next day of practice. Here on the day. Yeah, I'm just excited to watch the guys believe in themselves and their behaviors continue to grow. It's been fun to watch them uh, play big boy hockey and, and team focused hockey as, as we continue to go through the stretch and kind of credit to the guys and their willingness to do that. Yeah, I mean, there's no better time to come together as a team than the end of the year and pushing into playoffs. So I think every point's huge from here on out and we just got to focus one game at a time. How pumped up is Namoski on five points for five points this weekend? I mean, I think all in all, he's just happy that we got the six points. Obviously, the points come with that. But, I mean, I think it's a team effort, and he's just happy that we got a win tonight. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thanks, guys.